I improved the upgrade process of my online compiler. So a quick tutorial and you will also see how to add some nice features to source code. So it might be interesting. So I start here with the lock band saw that's a public uh, uh, Emmanuel Ferru uh, code for my lock band saw and this is a read only. So if you here make some changes and string s uh, it's read only. That's why we uh, need to save this project as a new one. So LBS1, save project as, yes. Uh, save ch changes, no, because we cannot save it. And now it's copied uh, to a new and we can make modifications. And so here, uh, because it's old, update your old source. Simply hit the button and... <laughs> Now uh, you are on the latest here, uh, Emmanuel Peru uh, source, uh, but uh, your changes have been uh, renamed. Uh, here was a date, and uh, the changes here it's always uh, this uh, slash slash u. So you can simply search for uh, all your changes, and you might notice that here's a BLDC, which also contains string f robo. Uh, here also contains uh, code. Uh, this has not been changed because there has not uh, been a uh, change on the original BLDC C since uh, 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 my old firmware to this uh, current up to date. Therefore, we can simply take our changes and don't have to. Yeah. But here, yeah, uh, the config uh, has to be done. And here, this uh, I simply open it uh, in another tab. LBS1, continue, and load. Mm. Remove this here. And so here we have this uh, config H. And uh, then we can uh, control tab, you can switch between. Because here this editor, the control tab uh, is, is browser. Um, um, I cannot uh, really. Um, stop the browser from changing the tab so simply open to IDEs and then here uh, simply search for double, double slash u and yeah the first one was already <coughs> you see now I switch the old one so here that's a u, u, use art so you also learn how to uh, change the, the feedback uh, data and a control tab to my new, and here, where, where is it? Uh, on line 148, uh, I added as an invert. So where is it in the new code here? Uh, that's here. And simply then con string G as a, to the next search result. So here, that's here's this uh, feature, enable timeout. Uh, that's what I added. So after three seconds, the uh, motors will go into free willy. And here I changed the inactivity uh, to 60, uh, 60 minutes. So string C to copy it, change to the top. And yeah, we now need that, uh, the default settings in 180. There's uh, still room to improve it. You see here it is. And so we have... Uh, Changed it. Uh, what's the next? I oh, where are we? Yes, here it's a UR setting, so I you activate the USR three. Don't know why I don't have disabled this, but uh, it's working. So uh, which line? It was one three hundred eighteen. Here they are, and here we have. Uh, disabled and now they are enabled uh, hmm. another control G and uh, that's it so we are now at the beginning and so we can save it so that's a config.h uh, and now let's go to the main.c I think we can still hit control G uh, and here that's this enable two, that's for the freewheeling on line 83. And we have here to open the 
main. Uh, where, where, where is it? Yeah. Enable simply copy and paste as string G for the next one, and that's here. These uh, variables this X turn is uh, uh, this variables are in the BLDC.C, and this is old uh, C <laughs> syntax, uh, no object oriented. And so, with, um, you redefine it with this extern, and so the compiler knows okay, it's defined somewhere else, but uh, after um, each file is compiled and linked together, then there will be these variables, so I can use them here in the main.c. So, if you want to add a feature and some variable is somewhere else in code, you need this extern variable. Uh, that's behind the battery voltage on line 86. Here's a battery voltage. Uh, yeah, string S, always save it. And string G, you see now it's here. And uh, then it's here. And here you see this uh, feedback structure, serial feedback. So I added four parameters uh, the amperage, so to calculate the current power, and the odon, so it's uh, the, the rotation, so to move back and forth. So if you want to make a, a servo robot with it, then you might uh, take this code. So string C to copy it, S control tab, uh, yeah, which line was it? 115, so it's not that far. Uh, it's here, and uh, it was after the battery voltage. So here we are. And string G, and string G, and string G, and now we are uh, where these variables are filled to be sent back. It's line 460, and so uh, 460. Yeah, here it is. I guess, where was it? It's after battery voltage here. And the last changes I made is here. The, uh, to add it into the checksum, but as you already can see, I uh, uncommented them because I don't know why this uh, very simple 16-bit uh, checksum. If I add them, you of course have to uh, add these uh, lines to the Arduino code. Um, then it's too many um, CRC failures. So uh, the data is okay. So I um, just um, added it here, but do not uh, add it to the CRC. Uh, check some, and I think that's it. Uh, and one last. Oh no, here, there. Yeah, this is enable. Where I um, go into free reload mode. It's uh, right behind the inactivity timer, 533. But this right now, because the code has changed, is somewhere else. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, some lines behind. And again, string G to see if we have missed us, but now we are at the beginning, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, I go to compile, and here I change uh, the, the label to a source uh, 2020. Oh, no, it's not 2020. The latest source now is uh, uh, 22. Uh, oh, 06, uh, 16, so to see that on which uh, it is based, and compile at your own risk. And <laughs> if I did not forget anything, then yeah, this will compile and you can download, and now you are up to date with the latest uh, source code. You can uh, also delete here uh, this uh, stuff, uh, also delete on your server, yes. And uh, because we have successfully uh, copied it to the code, you see the PLDC did not need to change, and config.h and main.c was done. And at the end <laughs> of this tutorial, you see here, uh, undo last update. OK, we can do this as well to go back. Uh, but uh, now, 
Uh, you are back to the old source where software here with your code, but uh, so uh, up here. See, you can also here change to a different version. So here that's the latest. So we can also upgrade to the latest with this drop down. But you can down could want to downgrade so change source, and it's the same story. <laughs> now you can again uh, make a search for the. Uh, dot dot uh, u. I think you have to be case sensitive. And here it's enable to just as I showed you. And there were, were these two features: uh, this enable going into free reading mode. And I showed you how to change uh, uh, the feedback structure uh, so that you can uh, make a use of some nice variables. Uh, some parameters that you would like to have in your serial communication feedback. Okay, bye-bye.